Hello everyone, today is a very special day. You know what? I'm on Linux again. I'm gonna try to talk about color grading today. Um, first of all, like I don't really know anything about it. I just like go and try things. So I can show you like the effects I use um, and what I do with them, but that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna show you like some of the things I use like for example, that's one I made today. Like you can see that it makes the green red and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you. Like I use pretty much color channel mixer to make this, and then like some be some curves as well. Um, or like if I take, I don't know. I have a lot of colorings as you can see. I made them. Like some change not much, you know. Like this one doesn't change as much as the other one. But it can be nice as well. Um, I don't really use them all anymore. I'm not even sure what some of them do. Yeah, that one like. I try to use names that are like, kind of, that remind me of what it does. Doesn't always work. I don't know. Some of them are cool. Um, so, how to make this? So first, what I usually do is go to search for the color channel mixer thing and then like you're gonna see it's really weird like if you change one it looks awful at first but if you change another one it will like like make it equal at some point you know so it depends on what you want uh, there's more, more explanation on like how this works online it's pretty much some kind of formula that uses these these numbers to calculate the new uh, I don't know the gain for the total image or something so um, I'm gonna reset that because that was ugly uh, then I can also use other ones I really like uh, the curves the busy curves um, so well, I'm gonna remove that to show you what it does. So you have different uh, channels that you can choose from. RGB basically changes the overall brightness. Um, usually, like I like to enhance the contrast like this. Then you can use red. Red, like changes between cyan and red. So like the top changes the light colors. The bottom one changes the dark colors. Um, honestly, I don't know what to tell you about like what's nice because I have never had a course in this. I just go like, oh, I like that. Like, I like the feel it gives me, you know. Um, then you can change everything. Uh, saturation is quite interesting sometimes because like you can tone down some like, the, for example, the dark stuff you want to be, I don't know, saturated and the low stuff not or like the other way around. Like, it can be interesting. I don't know, you can play with it. And new is my favorite. So basically, um, it changes the colors in the image. And the blue is pretty easy to change, it's the middle one. And like, you can see like my blue is no purple, my sky, and my sky is no green. And like, that's nice. And you can ch move the handles around to have like different results. Um, and then what do I use? I do use brightness and gamma as well. Like that can be useful sometimes. It depends on what you're doing, but like, yeah. Honestly, just play with the effects. You know, there's a lot in color correction and colors and you just like put them on and see what it does. And that's pretty much what I do. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna show you, like, I'm gonna make it faster, uh, show you how I make a coloring, I think. That could be interesting. Um, I'm gonna, like, go fast through it, though, because that could take a while. And I might put a voice over it. We'll see. 
Hello, it's editing Roxanne taking over for the voiceover. So first, I, as I said, I edit Color Channel Mixer and I just changed everything. Like, I, I don't really go with an idea in mind, I just change the things until I see something I like. Um, so I adjusted the, the levels for a long time because it looked too green and ugly and I don't really know what was happening. Um, so I spent a while doing this. Um, and then I think I go, yeah, I wanted to change the white balance. Um, oh yeah, I added some contrast first. Uh, but I wanted to change, uh, like, the colors, because, like, you can see it's kind of off. Um, so I changed them around and it still didn't please me after everything. So, oh yeah, I put them in a group, because then you can, like, save it as a group and use it again. Uh, then I changed the white balance. Uh, I didn't like this effect, I didn't like it, so I didn't use it. Um, then I tried another one, which worked better, but it took me a while to understand how it worked. Um, and I had issues because of the recording, like it didn't show my colors as I wanted. Um, so I... Yeah, the the basic thing is like you have to choose your free colors. Like what's supposed to be white on your image and isn't white is your new white and it will like bring it to white. At least that's how I understood it. I think that's what it does. I'm not even sure. Um, so yeah, I played with that for a while. And then like usually I'm still not happy about it. So I will go back to the other effects and change everything again. Like, yeah, you can see, like, I go back and change, like, try to tweak every little thing until I have colors I like. I tried to add some contrast. I didn't like it, so I removed it. I, it's mainly just, like, yeah, you can try, try all narrow, you know. And then, like, I try it on other clips and I'm like, oh my god, this looks awful. And so I had to go go ahead and change it more because like it was way too pink. On this clip, it doesn't show that much, but on the others, it was really awful. So I changed it. Um, you can also yeah um, like uncheck some effects to see like the effect it has to see if it's better with or without. Then I tried again on some other clips. It's also interesting to do it on a rainbow, because then you can see what it does on every single color. Then I went to take some other clips, and I was like, oh, that's a bit blue, let's make it less blue. And basically, you want something that works on every clip, so it's nice to try it with different clips, and then see what it looks like. Um, and then, like, I was happier with the results, um, so I saved it, just in case. And then I tried it on some other clips. I did some more adjustments. Um, and once I was happy with the adjustments, I saved it again, I think. That's pretty much it. It's really like, you go, you try an effect. It doesn't work well, too bad. But like, this overall was 20 minutes. It's not that long, you know. And it's, n like, it's actually nice to try and find some new ones. Um, I'll probably give this one away, uh, as well as the other one I made um, a few days ago that I showed at the beginning. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, tell me if you want more information, because honestly, I don't really have more to give, but, well, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain things. Um, I'll probably do another text effect or something soon. I don't know. I'm not sure what you guys want. Um, bye.